confirmation has developed that Saudi Prince Al Walid handpicked each and every individual from Obama's bureau in 2008. As per WikiLeaks, the capable Saudi very rich person utilized his control of Citigroup to interfere in U.S. governmental issues and introduce bureau individuals that profited Saudi's interests. Squawker.org reports, owning noteworthy measures of stock in Twitter, Luft, and Citigroup, Al Walid had started a new business with a portion of the world's most capable men, including Gates, Rupert Murdoch and Michael R. Bloomberg. Positively, one would assume that such a man would be untouchable. Mr. Trump broadly charged the Islamic pioneer similar to a dopey sovereign attempting to control our U.S. lawmakers with daddy's cash. Al-Walid has interfered in U.S. legislative issues previously, most strikingly with the climb of President Emeritus Barack H. Obama to his previous position of worldwide power. The late African-American political pioneer and agent Percy Sutton, in a meeting with correspondent Dominic Carter, clarified how Al-Walid's key counsel, Dr. Khalid Al-Mansur, acquainted him with the future president and had roused him to end up noticeably his academic promoter. This. Be that as it may, if taken as segregated could conceivably be comprehended as a straightforward demonstration of philanthropy, in any case, the story doesn't end there. Al-Walid is Citigroup's biggest individual investor. Citigroup, for the clueless, is a huge multinational speculation bank situated in New York City. The organization, as per reports on WikiLeaks, submitted to the Obama battle a rundown of its favored contender for bureau positions in an Obama organization, 2008. This rundown compares precisely to the inevitable creation of Barack Obama's bureau. Having had an immediate turn in Obama's school instruction and bureau determination, our lead is a long way from uninvolved with American governmental issues. Will the capture of our lead prompt all the more disentangling puzzles? Many inquiries have been addressed as of now, and one can just accept that this capture will prompt more introduction of concealed motivation.